Hello, hi, what's up? So this video will be a quick one about Zara perfumes. I've been really getting into perfumes lately and watching a lot of videos about different types of perfumes. The thing is, a lot of perfumes cost a lot of money. And while I don't mind spending money on expensive perfumes, I just don't feel great about spraying an expensive perfume every day when I go into work or something. For example, I have like Coco Mademoiselle that Chanel perfume and I really like it, but I don't want to be wearing it to work. You know what I mean? I want it to go with like a particular event, something that I want to remember that event by. I think that is where Zara perfumes come in. So yesterday I went to Zara, put the bag here, and I bought five different perfumes to test out. I'll be sharing those with you today. Oh, also I should note that a lot of these perfumes are said to be supposed like, dupes of the more expensive perfumes. So that's just like an added bonus, I guess. So the first set of perfumes that I got was the Zara Orchid and Gardenia Duo. I almost bought the Gardenia in the full size, but then I was like, I don't know, I'm actually gonna like how it like sits on my skin. So I got the 30 ml version with Orchid. So here they are out of the box. There it is, there it is. They're very cute and I like the, the bottles. So Zara Gardenia supposedly smells like black opium from YSL. And to be fair, I don't know what that smells like, but this does smell nice. It is described by Zara as splashes of a vibrant force, genuine and confident. Notes of orange blossom, coffee and vanilla. So I did like how it initially sat on me and it was, it was decent. Um, and then there's Orchid here, which it came in a duo with 30 ml. This is described as like slowly falling into the most comfortable pair of pants, but better. Notes of Bergamot, Orchid, and Vanilla. This one is compared to Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I used to own Daisy, I finished it now, but I can say, I've got it on today. Um, I can understand why they would compare it to Daisy because it's got the same fresh vibe, but it's definitely not an exact copy. It's just a really nice, fresh, clean fragrance, which does remind me of Daisy, but is not exactly like it. The other one I got was Zara Apple Juice. So Zara Apple Juice is described as every day the artist becomes her own muse. Okay, that's not a description of a scent, but notes of apple, peony, and violet. So this one is compared to Chanel Chance Entendre or Entange. I don't know how it's pronounced, but I like it. This one is in their all day collection and I can see why because it's very fresh, similar to Orchid, very fresh fragrances. So these ones I would be probably wearing daily to work. Um, nothing too special that I'd want any specific memory for. I would probably wear these. Oh, I didn't tell you the price. So the price of this duo of Orchid and Gardena, two 30 ml perfumes was $21.95. Bruh, love that. And this apple juice one, which came by itself, was $15.95 for a 30 ml version. So all three of those you can buy in bigger versions. I just wanted to see if I liked it enough to get like the full 100 ml. Because I don't want to clutter my stuff with perfumes I'm not going to use. You know what I mean? So then I bought two more perfumes, but in the 10 ml roll on version. The first one I'll show you is the Zara Red Vanilla. Uh, so it's a roll on, and people. Oh, that's nice. People often compare it to La Vie Belle by Estee Lauder, which is a very popular fragrance, but, and I, and I have smelled that one. Uh, I would say this is maybe a slightly sweeter version of that perfume. It's still very nice though, but it's on the sweeter side. Um, and this has notes of blackcurrant, iris, and vanilla. This cost $10 for 10 ml, which is kind of expensive when you think about it. But it's a, it's a trial size, so. I guess that's why. And then, and then guys, okay. There was a section on the shelf, which had very nice packaging. So I was very much drawn to it. And I realized it was a collection that of Zara perfumes done with Joe Malone. My face was literally like, what? Because Joe Malone fragrances are very expensive as we all know. And I'm probably gonna get a Jo Malone fragrance. Like I know I've wanted one for a while. I just want to be sure of which one it is that I want. So that'll happen one day. But in the meantime, uh, obviously I'm going to be checking out Zara's collab perfumes with Jo Malone. The one that I got is called Bohemian Bluebells. And this is what Jo Malone had to say about it. This scent breathes a bohemian spirit. It's full of bold, unexpected notes and its vibrant character mesmerizes the wearer. It's like nothing you have ever smelled before. 
There's like a few perfumes in this collection and I only got one to try. I know for a fact that I'll probably be going back to get other ones. On the initial application, I was like, I don't like this because it just smelled really intense. Like, yeah, it's not great on the initial spray, but then I walked around the store a bit and I smelt it again and then it dries down to smell so good. It dried down to smell like potpourri. And I love potpourri, so, and it, didn't, it doesn't take long to get to that stage. It just, when it's still in that like wet spray stage, it just, it's all very concentrated and intense. But after it dries down, yeah, it just smells like potpourri. Oh, so good. Anyway, so yeah, basically these perfumes will be used on a daily basis. And I love that when I spray them, I don't feel like I'm wasting it too much or not using it for a, good, a big enough occasion or whatever. That's just how I think about it. Um, my more expensive perfumes. These will serve the purpose of my day-to-day -day wear, zero thought, and I get to smell good and not actually have to spend a lot of money to do that. So I reckon you should totally check it out. I will be going back probably sooner than I should be to have a look at more of the Jo Malone ones. I'm not sponsored, of course, by the way. I'm just really happy that I found these and that I can smell nice for cheap because these are super decent. I mean, the fact that they're collabing with Jo Malone shows that they know what's up, perfume wise. Anyway, so I'll just wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video at all, please press like. And if you wanna see more thrifty lifestyle, like this would be an example of a thrifty lifestyle video because you get to enjoy a nice smelling lifestyle for less. Or if you're interested in craft at all, which I do like to do. See that, that wall hanging over there? I made that and some, the wall hanging as you see here. Yeah, anyway, craft videos and or singing videos, which I have made in the past and I probably will make more in the future. Not probably, I will be making more in the future. Um, please subscribe if you wanna see any of that. And uh, yeah, hope you have a nice day. Keep it real. Okay, bye. Although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let go. It's sudden that you, you belong to me. I belong to you. I love boys to men.